Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am visiting Porsche Centre Chandigarh to check out this all new Porsche Panamera 10 years edition. Uh, I'll talk about all the things you need to know uh, in order to, you know, operate this vehicle. I'll try to share um, all the information I've got and uh, First things, this is not the uh, your regular Panamera. This is the 10-year ed uh, edition. Porsche made this car to commemorate the 10 years of uh, Panamera production. So this car has got uh, 21 inches satin white gold wheels, and uh, it has got the Porsche active suspension and. Uh, as you can see here is the badge uh, which says the Panamera 10 and uh, let's go inside and check out how to operate this vehicle. Okay so first of all before turning the ignition on you have to put your seat belts. All right. So in uh, previous Porsche models, you have to uh, put the key inside the socket in order to turn the car on. But uh, in this particular Panamera and all the new models, they have given this feature. The you know this is the permanent key kind of thing. So in order to start the car, first of all, push it once and the ignition went on. You know you can now you can use all the electric uh, equipments on the car to turn the car on. Put your foot on the brake and slide the key thing once and now the car is, as you can see, uh, fully on. Alright, so now I'll tell you all the features, how to, uh, you know, put it in drive and uh, how to reverse the vehicle, how to put it in park, neutral, all those things. I'll tell you how the screen work and what are the these, function, uh, these uh, buttons do. Alright, let's start with the how to put the car in drive mode. So as you can see, this is the drive selector. Uh, here we uh, give three modes, R, N and D. R stands for reverse, N stands for neutral and D uh, stands for drive. So if you want to put it in drive, there is a button up here which you cannot see right now. So you have to push it to engage it into the drive. Now uh, see here. It's in park right now. So I'll push it backward. Now it's in drive. See, it's in drive. So if you uh, let go the brake paddle, the car will start moving. As you can see, the car is moving. Okay. So in order to reverse the car, the same thing, uh, you have to push it all the way up. Now it's in N and as you can see, the reverse camera is on. Let the brake go off slowly and it will start moving. As you can see the car is going back. Alright. So now to put it in neutral, <coughs> just push it once and now it's in neutral. Now you can rev the car. Okay. So now to put the car in park, when you are you know uh, turning the ignition off and now you have to leave the car in park for a while, you have to park it and you have to go do your work. Just simply push this button P. It's in park, and this right there, right here, is the you know electric uh, handbrake. Now it's it's parked fully. You can turn off the ignition and do your work. All right. So this is the driving thing. Now I'll tell you what all these buttons do, especially this one. So this is uh, an additional thing, not a standard feature. This is called the Porsche uh, Sports Chrono package. The, uh, we got four modes. First is drive, then sports, sports plus, and then individual. These are the four modes we got. All right, let's move on to these features. So as you can see, this right here is the volume button. You can increase the volume. You can decrease the volume. Okay. So the these uh, buttons are for the screen on the left side of the you know rev limiter. And these button controls the screen on the right side of the rev limiter. So this ball right here, if I start moving it, see it will now it's showing a navigation. 
now it's showing the you know lap record uh, which is which you can use on uh, track and now it's showing the g-force and this is the tire pressure monitor system and this will show you the temp vehicle temperature oil temperature and all those uh, those things on the left side on the left screen it will show you different things just like on the right screen the navigation the current position okay so this is the you know uh, odometer now let's move on to this center console so what we have these these are the ac controls you can control these uh, this these are for passenger side and this is for uh, driver side so if i press ac max this will turn the a blow off the ac as you can might hear in this video let's just put it off for some time so this is our traction control right now it's off and this is the porsche active suspension All let's go to the car so as you guys know this this car has porsche active suspension you can raise the height of the vehicle and lower it down so if if your chassis is normal that is that is for normal road usage sports a bit a bit stiffer a bit stiffer and sport plus is completely stiffer and the car will drop down from rear as well as front all right uh, one more thing i've noticed if you put it in reverse now the reverse camera is has opened so there is a feature to clean the reverse camera just uh, as you can see there is a option to clean the camera just press it once and it will clean the uh, reverse camera it's a very uh, unique thing i have noticed all right one more thing i have noticed if i'll turn off the vehicle so just so to turn off the vehicle you just have to push it to left and now your vehicle is off i have noticed another thing when the car is off you cannot use the horn see i have pressing this thing but you cannot use this horn i don't know what the reason behind this thing is uh, but this is a very unique thing i have noticed in this car so if you turn the car on now you can use the horn one more thing i have want to share with you guys is how to you know uh, put the spoiler on and off simply just go to car either from here or from here you can see there's a option of spoiler just press it once and you will see the spoiler is going up and to turn it back off press it for a few seconds and you will see it will go down one more thing i want to share with you guys is how to open and close the boot while you are sitting inside the car so as you can see that here are the two buttons so to open the boot press the button on the left once and as you can see the boot will open and to close it down put the button on the right keep it pressed until the boot is completely closed as you can see now the boot is closed i can release the button uh, let me tell you how to turn on the lights and how to turn them off so in order to turn the lights on just simply press this button all right now if you want to uh, keep it in auto you can keep it in auto so these are the fog lights and that's how you turn the lights on in this uh, vehicle to turn it off simply just press this button until you get the notification that lights are off see light seven space stop just release the button and boom so these were all the features i wanted to share with you guys please let me know how you like the video and if you like the video please share it with your friends and uh, i'll try to make such videos in future with different cars and in better way thank you guys See you in next video. Bye.